so we got a call for a disabled Hummer up here near the H. If you don't know what the H is, it's a big letter H on the side of the mountain. I got Gary with us. Good morning, everyone. He is the owner of the Hummer. <laughs> so what happened is the driver was driving it and then the steering quit working. So we're gonna go look and see if we can do a trail repair. If not, we're gonna have to go back and get the wrecker and scoop this thing off the mountain. We got Peanut with the weather. It's the weather, Peanut. Peanut's not talking. What do you got for weather? It's a beautiful, sunny, 87 degrees, probably about 9 in the morning. Uh, I'm sure we'll be hitting 100 before long. It's going to be a hot one. It's the weekend. The crew had a late night, so we are uh, letting them sleep in today. So it's just me and Peanut and Gary. I'm hoping we can get this fixed. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, we're gonna look at it, see if uh, we can get it put back together. There's Sand Hollow. There's our shop. Babylon Mills over there. The sand chute over there. There's a good Falls. view of the the yeah. radio tower up there and then Tokerville Falls up there. But none of that matters right now. What matters right now is this. Alright, so this is the problem. Oh, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like how that feels. I was hoping there would be some indication of it trying to catch or nothing, but there's some, there's a nut, there's a little resistance there. Hopefully that bearings and something's just disconnected. Okay, dude. Boy, how does that even work? That's what I was saying. It's just you can't really see. All right, yeah. there's. Okay. So there's. All right, we're getting power to there. All right, so I can see that we're getting, oh yeah, it's spinning right there. I'm just trying to see if it's spinning that input, which it is. Okay, so it's on the output side of the box. Okay, I'm gonna climb under there and look and see if I can see. Oh, I can see it. Oh, do you? Okay. Yep, that big old crack right there. Well, I think we're picking this up. Okay, not gonna be, not gonna be a trail fix. Oh, unless you've got another uh, Pitman arm. I do have Pitman arm. We can change that Pitman arm, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I have some. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's get, a, okay. get an arm and fix that. I was looking at it, I guess I didn't see it. Is it just blown it's out? It's a big old crack in it. Oh, okay. So it's split, so. Okay, Peanut, it's gonna be a trail fix. All right, we got the new Pitman arm, got the impact, we'll go put this on. All right, we've got what we need to do this, I think. Got a, I've got a good feeling about this. All right, so I'm going to need the big sockets and the Pitman arm. I'm guessing the inch and 5 16th, but who knows. Oh, this one's got a sway bar on it. Awesome. Give me one of them sockets. Okay. Well, that was easy. That loose? Yeah. Well, it, there's nothing to, for it to hang on to. Okay, I'm gonna need, looks like about an inch or a 15 16 socket. And then I'll need the that black uh, half inch to three eighths adapter. Okay, that's it. And then I just need the adapter. And then I'm gonna need a hammer. Okay. There's the bad one right there. I've got to figure out about where this goes. Okay, turn it slowly back all the way to the right. A little bit faster. One, 
two, three. Okay, so you're three and a half turns. Okay. So you're gonna need to go back one and a quarter turns. Okay, there's one turn and then that's, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's really close. That, that'll, that's definitely close enough for me to get this on there right. So here's the new piece going on. Okay, do you want to just turn the wheel a little bit one way and then a little bit back? I'm trying to, I've, I've just got to get these splines to line up. Keep going that way. Which is that way? Last Whatever your last direction was, yeah. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, so just hold it right there for a second. I'm gonna put this on. Man, this is a mess. I'm gonna have to drop this sway bar. <laughs> awesome, that's okay, we got it. Well, watch for that washer to fall. At least these rocks aren't sharp. Got that going for us. Um. <laughs> All right, that should be enough to get to this. And it is. pliers and a uh, wire. I'm just gonna put a wire through this. This is just a little piece of safety wire in case that loosens up. There's that back. Okay, now this is back on. We've got steering again, so things are looking up. Let's see. I roll under and inspect it after every tour now, and I know mostly what to look for. That's one I wouldn't remember. Yeah, that one was a little tricky. Probably didn't show any signs of anything until it went. You might have to drive to level ground okay. to get this on. Because it's... Yeah. Okay. We'll drive, we'll just get it up on level ground. All right, now we're gonna check and see if it works. All right, where is that? So I, I wasn't able to get that last bracket on because this wheel's up and that one's down. And it's a sway bar and there's a lot of pressure involved there. As soon as we get it on level ground, we'll be able to put that last bracket on. There it goes. Yeah, that gum lock's not kicking in. Back it up. Yeah, back up. Just take a little line. All right, let's see if that's good enough to get this other bracket on. Look at that. Right in place, just like we thought. Good as new. In a minute. That'll do it. All right, I'm gonna follow Gary to the barn, then I'm gonna pick him up and take him back to our yard where his side-by-side -side is, and we're gonna wash our hands of this job. Great, thank you. Good job. Almost a circus dog. Well, that's about all I got for you on this one. We appreciate you checking us out. Hey, just want to say thanks to Matt for coming out actually on a Sunday morning um, and uh, giving me a hand. Uh, I did just want to say one thing because I know you guys have seen me. This is going to be the seventh recovery that they've is done. Is it? It seventh? is the seventh. Oh, wow. Um, but from a percentage, that's actually 2% of the tours we do. So if you do want to come out, you got about a 1 in 50 shot that you're going to meet Matt on one of our tours. So. Uh, 
good luck. Anyways, appreciate it and uh, have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks. So we got a call for a Jeep that is stuck in the river down here at Rattlesnake. Apparently they've just got a Jeep that does not have lockers and they went on a trail that was a little bit above the level of an open differential. We're gonna head down here, see if we can get them pulled to safety and back on the road again. It's still hot, about 105 degrees. Sun hasn't quite gone down yet. That'll cool it off quite a bit. Should be nice and cool down here though, next to the river. I think it's gonna be nice. We got Rhett back there on camera duties. He brought his buddy Josh. We were in the shop putting a motor in his Corvair. So we are filthy and we've been at work for like, I don't know, 15 hours already today. So, <laughs> hey Peanut. Peanut wants out, but we got a couple more miles of driving before we let her out. It's just too hot to run. There's no water out there for her yet, but when we get to the river, it's gonna be nice. So we're kind of racing the sun right now. I might be, I don't know where I'm at. We're trying to get down there before it gets dark on us. It's always better to do a recovery in the daylight. It's safer, it's more fun, it's easier to film, uh, you can see. So we're going as fast as we can without ripping a wheel off. All right, we are dropping down into the river. This is a pretty gnarly little descent. It's gonna give you trouble if you don't have lockers and if you're not aired down, you're just not gonna make it. Camera's making it look like it's a Sunday drive. We're headed to the mall. It's actually gonna kind of be that way in a minute. As soon as we level out down here, it's gonna be kind of like just a dirt. Ooh. We got crossed up right there. I almost think I should put it in four wheel drive. We let Peanut out, she's running. Flying Corvair parts. Well, <laughs> yeah, I just got a Facebook notif notification. I just found a set of heads. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I don't even know what they were. So Peanut ran into a cactus, so you gotta get it out of her. Okay. Back there around her neck. I got a lot of too. Alright, good to go. Get out Watch where you're running. Oh my. Is this a victim? I don't know. Okay, we found the customer. He stacked rocks, aired down, he got out himself. Yeah, it was a little difficult. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a shirt anyway. Yeah, man. I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have watched your videos. Oh yeah? I swear. That was a rough time. You got no service down here. Yeah. And I don't blame you for trying to get out. You I can spend the night down here. Yeah, I climbed as high as I could until I got service and then lucky enough, I had enough internet to Google y'all's numbers. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Load up, peanut. Let's Sorry go. to pull you all away. Oh, for... no, that's okay. Yeah, there's some pretty good little climbs back there out of the river crossings. He was stuck in one of those. But like you said, he stacked rocks and aired down, said he watches the channel, and some of the ideas that he used to get unstuck, he learned from the channel. So awesome. I'm glad somebody was paying attention because I wasn't. The plan now is just to get back out of here. We're just going to stick with him to make sure there's a couple of good climbs up ahead of us. I think he'll do fine now that he's aired down, but uh, we're just gonna hang back a little bit and make sure he makes it out. All right, we're gonna try this climb in two wheel drive. Don't know if we can do it or not, we're gonna try it. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it is way steep, it's gonna take some speed, so let's gather some right now. So good. You don't like the two wheel drive game, Rhett? No. It's doing just fine. Yeah, but it's a little bit more rough. We're not taking the bypass. Woo wee! 
We did it! We did it! He's trying to keep up. Yeah, he's making it. Is it more rare can make it up here than two of drive? He'll be up to four. All right, we're just waiting for him to get to the top of the hill, seeing if he made it. Oh, there he is. All right, we all got out of there. Well, like I said, I don't blame him for trying to get out of there. I wouldn't want to spend the night down there. I would do everything I could to get unstuck myself, even if I knew help was coming. Um, Save this from driving out of there probably in the, the dark of night. I'm gonna count it as a success. So we got a call for a vehicle that is stuck in the sand. I think it's a two wheel drive vehicle, buried its back axle. We'll go get her out. Hot out here today, probably 108 degrees, but it's kind of windy, that's nice, a little bit overcast. See, there's a cloud right there. It's casting a shadow so far. Yeah. Peanut and I are battling for the air conditioning that comes out of this small hole. Who's winning? Peanut is. No recovery points. Right in the face. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I got it much worse. Yeah. Jonas, so come on. Oh no. Why would you do this to me, Matt? <laughs> Okay, what are we hooking to? Uh, yeah. yeah, let's just go to the A-arm. Like, transfer case motors out. Oh. And usually if I come along the shore, I'm okay. Keep your, keep your speed up and zip out of here. Yeah, but today is just not my day. Do you want to jump in there? Yep, yep. I'll hop in here. I'm going to try this in two-wheel drive, because I'm lazy. Ready to sprint. Well, that didn't work. Trying to get the most out of that one pull. Today, that was some good pulling. Is that not burning your feet? Oh. <laughs> you have to do that. I can't do this. Here, sit down. I'll pull you. Okay. It's too hot to walk on this sand. I don't believe you walk that far. There you go. Thanks so much. I yep. appreciate the help. <laughs> You guys, you too. We'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Melanie. Yeah. Right for the big one, huh? Well, that one was quick and easy. Easy peasy. Actually, it was hard. Well, 
Yeah, it was surprisingly hard. Tell me about that, man. Is it just the two-wheel drive or the super soft sand? Yeah. That was a pretty hard pull. So yeah, this, it's really hot. The sand is really dry. It fluffs up. For some reason, there's just no traction in that soft, hot sand. And we were, you know, we made some decisions to make our life harder. Why'd you go with the 20-foot rope? Because it was the one on top. Oh, that was the... Okay. Yeah. So the secret to that would have been 30 or even 50 feet of rope, but we did it. Thanks for watching. Hello. Have a good one. I love the game people. There were, those people are so nice.